flowers, their flowers and their children. From Hewtown on St Mary's, Sally Jones reports. The scent of flowers in the little square is almost overpowering. Every child is festooned with them, lovingly arranged in poses or on poles for their special day. For the children of Carn Warble School, this is a very big day indeed. It's the culmination of weeks and weeks of practice and rehearsal, singing and songs and dancing of dances and fitting of costumes, all for their May Day celebrations. And for little Sarah Mumford, it's the biggest day of all, because, as the song says, she's to be crowned Queen of the May. The moves and speeches are strictly rehearsed, so there's no chance of anyone forgetting even one of the familiar words. Bend thy beautiful head, I pray, that I may crown thee, Queen of May. Brighter, far than gold or gem, I this flowery diadem wear upon my brow today, that shall crown your Queen of May. Love shall guide thy royal sway, will I rule as Queen of May. The spotless costumes symbolise innocence and the white trousers come in handy for cricket afterwards. The boys certainly have a vital role, even if some of their duties are a little unorthodox. Well, after all that biting, things get a bit less warlike round the Maypole. Sorry, you look absolutely lovely in all your May Queen gear. Thank you. Where did you get your lovely dress from? Oh, one of my friends made it. How about the flowers? Um, well, my auntie Florence did it. So, were you very excited when you knew that you were going to be May Queen? Yes. <laughs> did it take a long time to learn all your lines? Well, not really, because I knew quite a lot of them from all the years. Oh, I see. It's always the same yes. lines that people say, is it? Yes. All over the place. It's a lot of verse and things to remember, isn't it? Though? Yeah. <laughs> Were you nervous you'd forget it? Yes, <laughs> especially my speech. Then it's time for the grand procession round the town, so that even those who didn't manage to make it down to the square get a chance to see and hear the revellers. Most Silonians, whatever age, will once have taken part themselves. Marjorie, you've been connected with the May Queen ceremony for a long time, yes, haven't you? Yes, I have. My family are islanders through generations back. I started school in 1928. I left the school as a student teacher in 1937. Were you May Queen yourself? I was May Queen in 1933. And from then I had a gap on the mainland teaching in various schools. I came back in 1952. I did the Maypole every year until now, and I took over producing the May Queen from 1964. Well, we were all saying how lovely and smart you looked in that outfit. Where did yes. you get it from? Well, as a matter of fact, islanders are so used to, the old islanders anyway, used to shopping by post. So I shopped by post, got it from Harrods, and the hat came from Torquay, whose shop I visit frequently. Well, you look lovely, and so yes, do the children, yes. and they all danced and sang. Yes, yes, we had.
and we thoroughly enjoy rehearsing. I never leave a child out of the maple. They all have to be in it, no matter whether they can skip or hop. We like them all to be in it and to enjoy it. I think they did and I think all of us did too.